more complicated. A dye hybrid, dye means two, is going to track two traits at the same time. Now, this doesn't mean that they are linked together. They might be inherited separately. It just means we want to track two of them at the same time. So this is when you use a dye hybrid cross. Here are my traits. Straight teeth is dominant. Crooked teeth is recessive. Big nose is dominant. Small nose is recessive. My first person's genotype, big T, little t, do they have straight or crooked teeth? Well, they have a big T, so they have straight teeth. And we have to look at the second trait now, big B, big B, big nose or small? Well, they have at least one dominant B, so they are going to have a big nose. Person number two, little t, little t, what do their teeth look like? Well, we have two recessive alleles, so that is going to be expressed. They have crooked teeth. What about their nose? Big B, little b, dominant is big nose, so they're going to have a big nose. These are a little bit trickier than monohybrid crosses. We need to figure out what are the possibilities that each person can donate to their child. So person number one here can donate a big T and a big B, or a little T and a big B. They don't really have many options beyond that. To figure out what goes across the top, this reminds me of the FOIL method in math for the quadratic equation. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. What you need to do is map out each possibility for each letter. So this big T can pair with big B. You're going to have two letters in each spot across the top. The big T can also pair with that big B. The little T can pair with that B. Or the little T can pair with that B. We're just maximizing all the possible combinations. Let's look at person two. Little t, little t, big B, little b. Your little t can go with the big B or it can go with the little b. So I'm going to put my two options here. This is the only time we're not putting this capital letter first. Um, you're only going to do that when we start multiplying here. You only do that with the same letters. That You'll see. Uh, down here, this little t can go with that B or with that B, little t, big B, little t, little b. Now to multiply, just like before, we're going to have four letters in each box. This is where your capital T is going to come first now. So our first combination is big T, little t, big B, big B. T's are always coming first because that's how I started out the problem. Here, big T, little t, big B, big B. Little t, little t, big B, big B. Little t, little t, big B, big B. Next. Big t, little t, big B, little b. Big t, little t, big B, little b. Little t, little t, big B, little b. Little t, little t, big B, little b. If you get the hang of this, fill this out and skip ahead in my video until you see the answer. If you're struggling, stick with me. Okay, big T, little T, big B, big B. Big T, little T, I got that from here and here. And then both of these are big Bs. Little T, little T, big B, big B. Little T, little T, big B, big B. Last row, big T, little T, big B, little B. Big letters always going first. Here we have a big T and a little T. Big B, little B. Little T, little T, big B, little B. It's kind of like a song. Little T, little T, big B, little B. Okay, here's your answers. Now we need to figure out what are all the possible genotypes that we have. This is where it gets a little hairy because we have a lot of options. Our first option, I see big T, little t, big B, big B. We need to find how many of those are there. So I usually put a little mark in the box so I know I counted it. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. And I don't see any of that anywhere else. So four out of, now we have 16. Little t, little t, big B, big B. How many of those do we have? Little t, big B, one, two, three, four. Four out of 16. How about here? Big t, little t, big B, little b. One, two, three, four. Ah, I see a pattern. My only option left, little t, little t, big B, little b. There's going to be four out of 16, because that's all that's left. Phenotypes, what are our possible physical combinations? They can have straight teeth and a big nose. They can have straight teeth and a small nose. 
They can have crooked teeth and a big nose, or they can have crooked teeth and a small nose. Let's look at our genotypes to figure out here which options we have. Straight teeth. If they have straight teeth, we know straight teeth is dominant, so there's be a capital T. Straight teeth. It's not going to be this one because there's two little teeth, so that knocks down some possibilities here and here. Straight teeth, big nose. Big nose is dominant. Ah, both of these have capital Bs. So I'm going to add up my numbers and say 8 out of 16 are going to have straight teeth and a big nose. If you, When you add fractions, the denominator, as long as it's the same, stays the same, and you just add your numerator. If you don't know how to do that, actually go up here and count. So you'd say big or straight teeth, big nose, one, two, etc. Count them out. Down here, straight teeth, small nose. Well, straight teeth is dominant, so these are already taken. There's nobody with a small nose. So this one's going to be 0 out of 16. Crooked teeth, big nose. Little t's are crooked. Big nose, dominant. Ah, both of these are going to have crooked teeth and a big nose, 8 out of 16. That means 0 out of 16 will have crooked teeth, small nose. In order to see this, you'd have little t, little t, little b, little b, and we don't have that anywhere. Okay. What you need to do next is solve this problem. It's similar, but it's going to have some different combinations. Um, I'm going to go through, so this video is a little bit longer because I'm actually going through the examples. If you know how to do this, or if you're feeling like you just want to try it, then skip to the answer. If you don't know how, then stick with me. It'll give you some extra practice. So if you're sticking with me, here we go. First, this person has straight teeth, and I'm just going to abbreviate for the sake of this problem, and a big nose. This person, straight teeth, and big nose. Okay, what are our possibilities? So our first person, big T, little t, big B, little b. We need to multiply out their options. Big T, big B. Big T, little b. Little t, big B. Little t, little b. Person number two is actually exactly the same thing. So I can cheat and do this. It's going to be the same. Now we multiply big letter first. Big T, big T, big B, big B, big T, big T, big B, little b. Big T, little T, big B, big B, big T, little T, big B, little B. How did I get those? Big T, big T, big B, big B. Big, 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 little. If it helps to look at it this way, that comes there, that comes there. That one's going there, that one's going there. Big T, little T. You can even use your fingers if you need to to figure out what goes where. Big B, little b. Next row, big T, big T, big B, little b. Big T, big T, little b, little b. Big T, little t, big B, little b. Big letter always goes first. Big T, little t, little b, little b. Okay, even if you get the hang of, or even if you're sticking with me, I want you to try and do these last two rows yourself. Pause me and then come back to the answer when you think you have it. Genotypes, now we have to write out all the possibilities. There are a ton in this one. You should have nine. Starting up here, big T, big T, big B, big B. I only see one of those. Yeah, there's nobody else that has two big T. So this is one out of 16. Big T, big T, big B, little B. Big T, big T, little B. Eh. One, two, I don't see any more. Two out of 16. I'm going to write out the other ones here. I want you to write these as well. Please go through and count out how many of each option you have and fill it out out of 16. Even if you're sticking with me, I want you to do this part on your own and then check out your numbers with mine. You should have one, two, two, one, four, two, one, two, one. If you don't know how to get that, come see me. Lastly, your phenotypes. What are physical traits? We can have straight teeth and a big nose. We can have straight teeth and a small nose. We can have crooked teeth and a big nose. We can have crooked teeth and a small nose. First, let's see how many people are going to have straight teeth with a big nose. Here's one, straight teeth, big nose. Straight teeth, big nose. Ah, 
Straight teeth, big nose. Straight teeth, small nose. Straight teeth, big nose. Straight teeth, small nose. Crooked, crooked, crooked. So what we need to do is add up. The denominator is 16, so it's going to be the same. We add up 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 out of 16. Straight teeth, small nose. Straight teeth is capital. Small nose is lowercase. 1. I'm going to put a box just so you can see it's different. Straight teeth, small nose. Here's another one. Nope, crooked teeth, big nose. So we're out already. Out of 16, we have 1 plus 2 is 3. Crooked teeth, big nose. Okay, all of these have crooked teeth, but who has a big nose? Here and here. I'm going to add those up. I have two out of, 3 out of 16. Crooked teeth, small nose. There's only one left over, 1 out of 16. That is how you do a dihybrid cross. So next, you need to pick either SpongeBob Genetics or Monsters, Inc. Genetics. Both are in the crate. Your choice which one you want to do. Monsters, Inc., you have to do some drawing and coloring. And it looks longer, but SpongeBob is just more condensed. They're actually equal in length. The back problem is a dihybrid. If you need help, come see me. Otherwise, go ahead, grab what you need, and get going.